So I've just finished making myself a, a margarita here and uh, a lot of people don't understand about salt and how salt attracts moisture so I, I thought I'd make a short video about how salt attracts moisture from humidity directly from the air um, which is one of the things we say you should you should take the render off in your house if you have salt in it or if you have salt in your piers or whatever the salt will attract moisture from the atmosphere and uh, it will get wet again and it can recrystallize the salt becomes dry again <coughs> it recrystallizes into crystals just like that um, and pushes apart the bonds in your sand cement and masonry and things like that okay um, so I've taken a bit of this this salt here which I've put on my margarita um, and you can see here the salt crystals are dry righty and we'll just take them over here and pop them on the shelf okay and I'll leave them there so today is 28th of February 2022 at 8.30 alright uh, we'll see how long it takes I'll do a couple of videos right, so it's tomorrow already okay it's say quarter past seven on Tuesday and it's raining today um, we're going to have the 200 mil rain come in from Queensland tomorrow, um, so everything's getting really wet, uh, so obviously it's quite humid, and here is the result of our little test, uh, not even 24 hours later, and we've got a plate full of water, uh, the salt has attracted the water from the, from the atmosphere, uh, from the humidity, and uh, you've got water pooling on there. Um, so, this is an example of hygroscopic salts, um, so if you have rising damp or salt in your peers etc and you don't remove the salt um, even if you do injection at the bottom of the wall if the salt is remaining in the masonry above the injection point then you will have the salts that are remaining there attracting moisture from uh, the atmosphere and they will get wet all right uh, and that's a really good visual example of hygroscopic salt